Hey guys, what's up? My name is Brian Lovelace. I am the founder of NaviUpgrade.com. Today we are in my 2017 Ford Focus ST1 with Sync 3. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you guys how you can program your vehicles to upgrade from Sync 2 to Sync 3 pretty easily. So uh, I'm not going to go really into the nitty gritty of Forescan and how to uh, adjust all of the as-built data but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to load up the pre-built files that I have, the as-built files that I have and that I'm giving away on NaviUpgrade.com so that you can program these modules to your car yourself. So if you find this video helpful, I would really appreciate you going to my site, NaviUpgrade.com, and if there's anything that you need for your upgrade, please either purchase from me or click any of the links on my resources pages and uh, purchase through them. That'd be really helpful. Uh, I really love doing this stuff. So without further ado, let's get right on into what we need to do to get programming started. So first things first, we're going to use an ELM 327 adapter. Uh, it's USB. I like this one because it's very cheap. We're talking like 1897 on Amazon. And uh, you need one like this specifically because it has a high speed and a low speed CAN bus switch. You can't just use a regular one because uh, you won't be able to get into medium speed CAN bus. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and we're going to plug it into our vehicle. All right, so here it is. What I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to be going here, down here, unplugging this. And usually uh, your OBD would be resting right in there. But since I usually run an access port in my car, I uh, have it out so I can tuck it all away. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna take it like this, plug, oops, easy up, plug her in. Hard to do with one hand, there we go. All right, so another thing to consider is on this adapter, this specific adapter, uh, when the switch is, is pointing towards the wire, that is high speed CAN bus. Uh, so what, that's what we're gonna wanna start out when we're doing our programming today. So without further ado, let's plug into our laptop sorry guys about my dirty messy car um you know COVID-19 is going on right now and uh I just haven't been driving much I haven't been really taking care of my car unfortunately so uh you'll hear the ding when it plugs in okay so first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into Forescan oopsies Forescan and uh when you do this you're going to want to select your vehicle uh, if you haven't plugged into Forescan before, select your vehicle. Uh, mine is a 2017, so I'm going to click 2017 My. Okay. And it's going to load everything up. Because I, uh, I've deleted my profile on, uh, on Forescan, it's going to reconnect to my car, and it's going to learn all of the modules that my car has. So uh, if you're doing this on an F-150 or something like that, then uh, what it's going to do is it's going to see all the different modules that the F-150 has. Like, excuse me, I think that there's a, a backup module, a backup camera module. Um, there's all kinds of things that these other cars have that the Focus doesn't have. Now, the first thing that you really need to make sure is we have that switch on there. So don't brush past where it says action needed. As you can see, it says, please set the HS MS CAN switch to MS CAN bus position and click OK. So remember, we're going to come back down here. We're going to go and we're going to switch it to MS CAN bus, which is out away from the wire on this on this uh, on this adapter. So I'm going to go here, click OK, and it's going to learn all of the medium speed CAN bus modules as well. So there's the passenger door control unit, driver door module, uh, remote function actuator, audio control module, all this stuff. So wait for it to go through and what, what you'll see is uh, it will pop up and say, would you like to save a profile for this vehicle? I do, I'm gonna save it as Brian's, oops, I said my name really weird there. Brian's 2017 Focus ST. And we're just gonna click yes. And we're good to go. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna go back down here and we're gonna switch to high speed CAN bus again. Oh. Sometimes you'll get little dings on, on your dash. Don't worry about that. Uh, and then we're gonna go here into configuration and programming. And we're gonna go into APIM module configuration as built format. Click play. 
and it's going to say please set hsms can switch to hs can position and click okay so we just did that that's exactly what i just did and we're going to click okay all right uh changing configuration is potentially not safe uh they say it's not safe it's pretty safe uh, i would just follow my recommendations and do the following okay you ready so we're going to click okay and always what I do when I'm starting to program a vehicle, no matter what module I'm in, I always save all first because you don't know if something's gonna happen uh, and you mess up some of the as-built data. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna save this as sync to, to oopsie, sorry, wasn't typing there. Sync two to three as-built. Oopsies. Pre-programming. Save that. It's going to save it into your Forescan uh, folder within your documents that it's created. And let's get right to it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our downloads where we downloaded our uh, Navi upgrade as built as built files. Uh, so no matter what vehicle that you're using, I will have a uh, download file that you can use for your vehicle for sync 2 to sync 3 upgrades So first things first we're gonna go and we're gonna unzip this folder Extract to Navi upgrade focus sync 2 to sync 3 Okay, it's uh, extracted and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to load all here and we're gonna go back to uh, My downloads then Navi upgrade focus uh, sync 2 to sync 3 and then uh, we take note of what our sync 3 module is is it a nav unit or is it a non nav unit uh, so what we're going to do is uh, mine is a nav unit so i'm going to say sync 2 to sync 3 as built with nav okay click okay and then unfortunately my car battery is kind of dead here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to turn my car all the way on i would really recommend not having your car all the way on when you do this uh, hopefully you can have it in accessory mode or have yourself on a battery saver or something like that while you're doing this project. So getting right back into here, letting my screen turn on, giving it one second here. We're going to, again, load all with nav, and then all you have to do is click write all, module configuration as built format. This action will completely re rewrite the module configuration. Are you sure? Yes, we're sure, let's do it. Okay, as you can see, it's gonna load up, oop, and blocks program successfully, and you will see that your screen turns off and turns back on. This is the module rewriting itself. So as you can see, we've got the Ford logo there. So what I'm going to be doing is when I send out these files, they're all gonna be base files. They're gonna be exactly what you need to get your car to be exactly what it needs. But it might have uh, some different looks. It might only say Ford. So if you have a Lincoln, you might need to switch it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to also teach you how to uh, customize that splash screen in the beginning so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to OK and then we're going to go to stop down here we're going to go to configuration and programming and then we're going to go to module configuration not as built and this one is awesome because uh, it actually just gives you options to change so you can like enable your HD radio if you have an HD radio uh, compatible ACM but we are not doing that right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, stock splash screen. So splash screen, splash screen right here. I'm gonna go edit selected, and I'm gonna turn this back to my ST version. So we just hit the check mark, and then we go right, right, and we go back here. It's gonna turn off. Dun, 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 dun. And then we have our beautiful ST splash screen. So now to disconnect from your car, what you need to do is you need to go OK, and then you need to go stop, and then you need to go to the information here. You go here, disconnect, and you can close out of all of your stuff. And that is exactly how easy it is to program your SYNC 3 modules to your vehicle that had uh, SYNC 2. Really, really simple not more than a five to 10 minute process as long as you have Forescan. All right, guys, so I know that was kind of a quick tutorial. Uh, there's a lot going on right now, especially with COVID-19 going on in the world, but I really hope that this video was helpful to you. 
and that uh, you consider subscribing to my channel and that uh, you consider buying some products from my store. I really appreciate it. I learned a lot about this stuff over the past couple of years uh, when I was the first one to figure out how to upgrade the uh, stock, you know, the base model Ford Focus ST1 to have Sync 3 in it. And ever since then, I've been providing value and knowledge to the community, and I look to continue to do that. I uh, really would love your support uh, if you could purchase anything on my uh, NaviUpgrade.com site when you're uh, building out your project. That would be so, so helpful, and I'd appreciate it so much. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, anything like that, feel free to drop a comment in uh, the YouTube video below or on the uh, resource guide on my website, NaviUpgrade.com. We're gonna continue to build resources out for all kinds of cars, all kinds of vehicles on there, uh, and I really look forward to this journey to helping you guys and helping the car community do really cool infotainment and nav upgrades at a fraction of the cost of the competitors like 40 Tech and infotainment.com. Uh, I love this stuff, again, and I really hope you enjoyed my video. If you have any questions, again, drop them below. Peace.